Good day, viewer. Good day, viewers. You are welcome to Easy Learning Tutorial Class. And this is what I have for you today. A glass prism of angle 72 and index of refraction 1.66 is immersed in a liquid of refractive index 1.33. Full stop. What is the angle of minimum deviation? for a parallel beam of light passing through the prism for a parallel beam of light to pass through the prism it means that the uh, minimum deviation occur and that's why they ask of what is the minimum deviation for this parallel beam to pass through the what prism symmetrically or parallel to the base means that minimum deviation have what occur so now that's one of the conditions for minimum deviation to occur in a prism. Then let us go to solution straight to what we have here. Solution. And uh, this inquired that we are going to use Snell's law, which said sine of um, incident angle. In this case, the incident angle becomes this plus minimum deviation all over 2 divided by refraction angle refractive angle which is what a divided by two in this case no more uh, angle of refraction then the angle of refraction become this and is equal to the refractive angle from air to glass which simply mean as the same as what any one all over any two where the any one where any one is equal to the refractive index of the prism, which we know, which we already know. Then, any two become the refractive index of the second medium. Here we want to put the, the, the prism, we want to insert the prism in water, the mass the prism in the what liquid. That means the refractive index of the liquid, 1.33, which is given to me. Therefore, again, and again, I have my A to be 75. That's the, the angle of the prism, the angle of prism, the angle of prism. I'm going to state it here clear for you to understand properly. Then now, I have this to be sine of A plus angle of deviation, angle of minimum deviation divided by 2, all over sine M, sine of A over what? 2, and is equal to uh, that's a 1.66 all over 1.33. Then going over here, I will now have a sine, sine of A, in this case now A72 plus minimum deviation divided by 2 all over sine of uh, 72 divided by 2, that's 72. And is equals to 1.66 all over 1.33, and this will give me sine sine of 72 plus minimum deviation divided by 2. I'll divide by sine of 36, and is equals to 1.66 all over 1.33. Then when we divide that, and when we divide this strictly, when we divide this with the calculator, you will have 1.2481. Then now, cross multiplication, this is over 1, you remember? This is over 1, cross multiplication. I will have that my sign in into 72 plus dim, minimum deviation, all over 2. This gives me 1.2481 times sine 36. Give me time 36. Now imply that sine 72 plus dim minimum deviation all over 2 all equals to 1.2481 times sine 36. Sine 36. Well, it gave me 0 
7879 okay uh, I can make it say 778779 mm. then now taking it over here I can now say that uh, multiply sign here 72 plus gym minimum deviation all over two is equal to when you times this I will have uh, 0 0.7336 then now I can now say that uh, 7 2 plus minimum deviation all over 2 is equal to sine inverse sine inverse of 0 0.7336 therefore I will now have that my 72 plus minimum deviation all over 2 well, it give me the angle. Sign inverse of this angle will give us a, will give us four seven point one nine. Sign inverse of this fraction will give us this angle. Then now, I wanna let us complete this class. Let us complete the process here. I cannot say that uh, um, that uh, seventy two plus dm minimum deviation all over 2 is equal to um, 40 47.19 degree over 1 cross multiplication cross multiplication I can have 72 plus minimum deviation is equal to 2 times 47.19 and this gives me 72 plus minimum deviation and is equals to when you multiply that it will give me 94.38 degree and that will give me that uh, my minimum deviation my minimum deviation is 94.38 degree minus 72 therefore the minimum deviation which we are asked to find is giving us a minimum deviation is equals to is equals to 22.38 and that's the answer of this particular yek question this is a y equation my equation for part b of y equation so this answer to this particular question which they ask us to calculate the minimum deviation then some of you may be confused how we get this formula how do we get this formula let's see how the formula comes about but it will be in the brief the next video you will see fully how the formula comes about and that's a ray is incidental on this and this is a normal this is an incident angle and this man move and then this is a normal as well again if i draw normal like this this uh, this ray move this way which is a uh, image out this is the incident and this become what imagined angle this ray is supposed to be moving this way this is how it's supposed to continue but it deviated this this one coming over here we are zooming that is coming from this and that's give me this and this become the minimum deviation this become deviation which makes this line this this ray which is moving supposed to move this way but i saw the ray moving this way so what angle does he use to deviate he used this angle to deviate from the cell the line is supposed to be moving then this which i draw here is a normal and this angle here is a what the angle of what prism the prism angle which is what a then here become refraction one I call here refraction 2, I call here P1, P2, I call here P1. Uh, we can now say that there, that R1 plus R2 is equal to A. Remember, the two opposite angle of a triangle is equal to exterior angle. The two opposite interior angle of a triangle is equal to the what? The exterior angle of that triangle. That one we do.
Then now, I cannot say that this man and this man is an associated triangle, that these base angles are equal for this associated triangle. That means that what? 2R is equal to what? A. Therefore, R will now become what? A over what? 2. That means the refraction when I say sine A, I over sine A, R. In this case, this R become A divided by 2. That's what you saw in that particular question. Then again, in our subsequent video, I will continue to you know, prove this formula. You'll be able to watch solve the question on that formula. So subscribe on this so that the next question, because that's the question where X, where X asks for us to prove this formula we have stated. Where X asks us to prove the formula, which is A plus what? Dim, minimum deviation, divided by 2, all over sine L. A all over 2. Why it asks us to prove this formula in certain years. So which we are going to treat. On proving this formula, that's how we get that formula. So subscribe to this channel so that the next video, which we are going to treat that question, you'll be able to know how this formula comes about and you understand properly this particular solving in full detail. So this is what I have for you today. Thank you for viewing this. Thank you for watching this video. And thank you for loving this video. Thank you for subscribing in this video. Thank you for sharing this video to your friends and your well wishers. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next video.